In a world filled with a multitude of voices pronouncing our divisiveness, Psalm 23 sings the song of a single shepherd that leads us and restores us to the right paths. There is the ultimate trust in God that we must have in order to experience the goodness bestowed upon us. Not necessarily the richness of material goods, although all goods come from the Lord who provides, but rather in the relationship offered to us for those who follow the way. And the bounty that is received is the goodness and mercy all the days of our life. To know the Lord all the days of our life. What greater knowledge can one possess than the knowledge that we are loved? And the greatest of all knowledge is that God loves us. The voice of the shepherd is one of love that cares for the sheep. In both the Hebrew scriptures and the New Testament, the image of the shepherd is commonly used to express this relationship. This relationship is one of entrusted care and is reflective of the covenant established by a God who never abandons, but seeks to quench our thirst for the sacred and restore us through life-giving waters by his grace. It is through following the voice of the shepherd that divisions can be overcome. The document we celebrate tonight, Nostra Aetate, established the relations of the church to all non-Christians. But the primary focus of the document is on relations between Christians and Jews. It challenged the divisions that caused animosity and tensions between us. As Pope Francis claimed in an audience October 28th in St. Peter's Square, this declaration enabled indifference and opposition to turn into cooperation and benevolence. In the relationship from enemies and strangers, we have become friends and brothers. The century of misunderstandings and persecution are not easily dismissed. They find their way embedded in the stereotypic characterization, and they even find their way embedded into the prayers of a people. But to know another brings us closer to the knowledge of God's love for us. And once we experience that, we cannot deny that love and dignity which the person possesses. We certainly can mouth the words of rejection of all forms of hatred, persecution, and anti-Semitism, but only when I know my brothers and sisters do the words of re rejection take root in an appreciation that allows us to embrace our commonality. In order to avoid the false sense of complacency, that may lead to negation of our mutual progress, we must be vigilant, protecting against any retreat from mutual understanding. We must promote the study of scripture and the dialogue which allows us to grow through a discovery of our common roots and participate in joint efforts on behalf of the common good of our community. In these activities, we can stand together, being led by the shepherd who directs us in our paths. As the shepherd leads us, we have an ability to be witnesses to the presence and importance of the divine in the society in which we live. If we can be examples of the ability of our God to heal and create anew through us, then we become hope for a world that is filled with violence and division so that reconciliation and friendship is possible. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing 
I shall want. 